transit riders gear up for their first fare hike in nearly a decade this morning. It is going into effect for all trains and buses. So what does this mean for your commute? Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Meji live in Hoboken with the answer to that. Reagan, good morning. Good morning there, Shalina. Not what the transit riders want to hear this morning. A 15% fare increase begins today and not only that next year on July 1st 3% increase and many July 1st after that. So like you said Charlene this is the first time in nine years New Jersey transit commuters will see a fare increase on trains and buses an increase that kicked in at midnight starting today many New Jersey transit commuters will see that fare jump in addition there will be cuts to commuter incentives and programs to help ease the fare increase some of the state's largest businesses will actually be contributing money a 2.5 percent tax to help fund the new jersey transit this as severe delays have been plaguing the new jersey transit system for weeks significant amtrak malfunctions along the northeast corridor have caused hours of delays for new jersey transit commuters specifically two weeks ago when breakdowns canceled or delayed 130 new jersey transit trains leaving thousands of stranded without access to rail transportation. The service that riders are receiving is not great. You know, we've seen suspensions, delays throughout NJ Transit, and I know as an NJ Transit rider myself, that's a, a serious issue that continues to face New Jersey Transit. And if we're not using uh, our resources to help assist people over profits, then we have to seriously think about whether our priorities are in the right place. Now, New Jersey Transit trains operate on Amtrak tracks. So, for its part, Amtrak will be proactively looking at all of the rails and all of the wires and making those necessary repairs when needed.